Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have some exciting news to share with you about Diablo 4. Blizzard has recently revealed that they're introducing over 50 user-friendly options in the game, making it the most accessible installment in the Legendary series yet. It's clear that their aim was to guide all players through the development process, ensuring a seamless experience for everyone. In a blog post by Blizzard, some of these accessibility options were highlighted. And Drew McCree, the lead UX designer, stated that the only limits to diving into Sanctuary should be interest, not ability. The team behind Diablo 4 started their accessibility journey by building upon the foundation established with Diablo 2, Resurrected, ensuring that the game would be accessible to as many people as possible, while also being mindful not to compromise the gameplay for others. As mentioned before, Diablo 4 will launch with over 50 individual accessibility features. The team took the time to focus on tools that enhance task execution text readability, and visual cues. The first feature discussed was button remapping, and Blizzard confirmed that all inputs, whether it's keyboard, mouse, or controller, can be customized to suit the player's preferences. Additionally, players can switch between the right and left analog sticks on controllers to have greater control over the most vital buttons and stick inputs with just one hand. Another feature related to skills and movement allows players to choose whether they want to change a long press of a button to a single press. Persist target lock is another option that ensures the enemy you intend to target won't get lost in the chaos when multiple foes appear on the screen. With this lock-on feature, your skills and weapons will focus on the intended enemy to be vanquished. When it comes to text, significant emphasis was placed on written translations and making Diablo 4's story easily understandable for everyone. Translations are enabled by default, but players can change the font color, size, and even dim the background of the text to suit their needs. For those who enjoy playing as a team, you'll be glad to know that speech-to-text transcription will be implemented in Diablo 4, which transcribes what you say through your microphone into the chat. Blizzard highlights that this will be particularly helpful when coordinating strategies against colossal world bosses alongside your friends. Lastly, the discussion touched on visual assistance. The ability to resize font and cursor was the first feature highlighted. There will be three text size options, small, medium, and large. Blizzard ensured that they look good regardless of the size you choose. Audio cues will assist players in locating items as they emit a sound when the cursor hovers over or gets near them. Considering that Diablo 4 revolves around loot gathering, Blizzard has introduced a feature that allows you to enable these cues specifically for items of a certain rarity or higher. By default, items have a unique animated outline and color indicating their rarity, but this takes it to the next level for players. Player and item highlighting will increase readability for players, allowing them to choose a color that distinguishes players, enemies, objects, and non-playable characters. As mentioned earlier, there's a lot happening in Diablo 4 at any given moment, and this will help players understand everything that's going on simultaneously. Last but not least, the screen reader feature, which supports JAWS, NVDA, and other screen readers, was discussed. This feature will read out loud information about gear, options, journal pages, unspoken text, 